Hey everyone, my name is Danny Dumas and this is the Earn Your Tile Podcast. Today, I'm going to have some controversy. Today, I'm talking about empathy, the big controversial topic of empathy and how I, why I think men don't need as much as everybody. So let me explain. I was recently online, I was on Facebook and I was checking out everybody's perfect world and everything they were curating and there was a girl that I know that was complaining that Most of the problems in the world could only be solved if men were more empathetic. If men could just be more like women and had this large supply of empathy, life would be better. And I disagree. I do not think that is true. So let me explain. First, what is empathy and versus maybe what is sympathy? Sympathy is seeing something that's bad or sad, that maybe your friends are getting divorced and you say, man, that is so sad. I feel so bad. I feel so bad that they're getting a divorce. Man, that, that's terrible. Empathy is saying they're getting a divorce. And you think, man, if we got a divorce, what would that mean for my kids? What would that mean for my daily life? What would, what would it feel like to wake up in the morning to an empty house? That's empathy. I'm feeling what they're feeling. I'm putting myself in that situation. And empathy is very powerful. It helps you relate. It prevents you from saying things like, well, at least you had a couple good years of marriage. <laughs> that's sympathy. Right? That's not what we want. We don't want that. We want empathy. And I would never say that empathy is not good. But my premise that in or- that more and more and more empathy is better and better and better, I do not think it's true. One of the superpowers of of manliness. One of the superpowers of being a man is the fact that we have the ability to turn on empathy and dial it up, and we can also dial it back. And I know some people who don't have that ability. You know, there's some, uh, you know, some women in my life who are just the sweetest, kindest people, and they can feel their ability to understand how other people are feeling is phenomenal. But it's always there. It's always set to 100. And that is not always helpful. For instance, uh, imagine uh, me and you are riding on a fire engine together and we get a call for a head-on collision. We get there and there's a guy in the driver's seat and the steering wheel is pinning him into the car. He can't get out. And we look down, he's got an open femur fracture, meaning his femur was hit so hard that it broke out and broke through the skin and you can literally see the end of the bone sticking out. One of the most painful things I can imagine the amount of force you need to break your femur is just, it's the strongest bone in your body. It's the largest bone in your body. This guy's in pain. Now, if it was just the broken leg, we'll give him some fentanyl. We'll give him some uh, Versed. We'll snow him. He won't feel anything. He won't remember anything. We'll be good to go. But that's not his only problem. Because he got hit so hard, this guy is dying. He's his pale. He's ashen. His pulse is through the roof. His blood pressure is almost not readable. And he's dying. We don't have the time for pain management. So what do we do? We get the jaws of life out. We start opening up this door. We get to the steering wheel, start to lift the steering wheel off, and we start to move him, and he's screaming, you're killing me. Oh, my God, it hurts so bad. Stop it. Stop it. It hurts. It hurts. Well, if as men, our empathy is always set to 100, what do we do? We feel that. Oh, you're right. That hurts. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I hurt hurt you. And we set him back down. And his blood pressure drops and his pulse increases and his skin color gets worse until we realize, oh, we got to do something. We go to pick him up and he screams again that his leg is hurting. And we feel that and we set him back down. We do that two or three more times. And do you know what happens? That gentleman dies. He dies because of our lack of ability to adjust the amount of empathy that's appropriate. That is a man's superpower. I reject the idea that just because we don't have the same type of empathy, or maybe we don't always have as much empathy as a lady would, or that some guys have versus other, that somehow makes us wrong or toxic or, you know, that we lack sensitivity. I just feel like men are built different. uh, There are many, many differences in men and women, and I think this is one. Now, I'm not trying to be sexist and take away you know, from a woman first responder or any of that. There are definitely women that can do the job. You know, I think of surgeons. There are definitely surgeons that are women and are doing a great job, but you don't want a 100% empathetic surgeon, right? They literally have to cut into your body, move bones around, move vessels around, break things, then put them back together. If they were empathetic, 
at 100%, you would never heal, right? You would never get the new hip. You would never, you know, get your gallbladder because it all feels bad. You feel this, this negative sense because you're hurting somebody. And that, that's okay. Man, I'm telling you, it's okay that there's certain times in your life where you don't have to have 100% empathy. Now, I would never say have no empathy. If you would say, ah, you know, I don't have any empathy, I would call you a, you know, pre-serial killer, right? Because those guys had no empathy. They didn't, they didn't feel anything for their victims. There was no emotion. There was none of that. And I don't want, that's not what I'm advocating for. I'm not advocating for zero empathy. I'm also I'm not advocating that you don't try to improve your ability to have empathy because empathy is a good thing. The ability to recognize what someone else is thinking, put yourself in that situation, and maybe even feel that allows us to avoid conflict. It allows us to have better conversations. It allows us to have a, a more connected relationship with our friends and our family. I want you to have that. But I don't want you to be ashamed that you have the ability to sometimes just turn it off or maybe dial it way back. That is not wrong. That is not wrong. That is part of our superpower, you know, and there's always both sides. Some men are out there. They don't care about themselves. They're selfish or they don't care about others. They're, they only care about themselves. They're selfish. They never try to figure out what someone else is thinking. They assume that the way they feel is right and correct. And everybody feels the same way. And that's inaccurate. If that is you, you're wrong. Other people's feelings are valid. Just because it doesn't bother you doesn't mean it doesn't bother other people. And you need to learn that. But on the other side of that, it's okay when you don't always understand what other people are saying because sometimes you need to take action. There's certain times in our life, and usually it's in crisis, right? There's usually times where you just need to make things happen despite how everybody else feels. And as the man of the house, it's okay to make those decisions. It's okay to remove yourself because if you had that empathy that you, that's hundred percent always turned on, you might not be able to do that. You know, it's this, you know, it's the kryptonite, right? If you're a fan of Superman, you know that he came from the planet kryptonite as a fairly normal person, right? When he, when he was removed from kryptonite, the power of the sun gave him the power to, to do all these crazy things, right? To do all the stuff. But when he got back to kryptonite, it started removing that the pieces removed it. So there's, there's a balance, right? There's always a balance of not enough empathy, too much empathy. And what I'm saying is as a, as a man, it's okay that you can turn it on and turn it off, dial that in, improve that skill. Uh, be conscious of when you're doing that. Be conscious of when you're saying, I know this hurts. You know, I, I see this in discipline. Sometimes when we go to discipline our kids, we don't do it because we have empathy for them. It, they were, you know, your, your son did something that you did when you were younger. And you, man, I remember what he was going through. I remember the hard time that I had. I remember lashing out at my parents. Just because you can remember that and feel how he felt doesn't mean there shouldn't be some form of discipline, right? We need, our kids need to know there's consequences. And as parents, I believe we can give them the kindest, fairest form of consequences because if you leave it out to the world, if, if your kid never gets consequences because you feel bad for them, the world's consequences are way more extreme than what you would give them. That's what, you know, that's what discipline is. And I'm not talking about like spanking your kids, if that's uh, something you would do. I'm talking about figuring out where they've transgressed, right? What rules they've violated, what they've done wrong, and then giving them an appropriate response so they can learn that when I do this, bad things happen to me. And they're going to be sad. They're going to maybe not like you. Uh, they're going to have all these negative emotions. And if you have too much empathy and you, you feel it too much where you can't execute on that discipline, you're failing your kids. You're failing your kids because you don't have that. And hopefully you have a good balance between you and your spouse that maybe when they have a lot of empathy, you can dial yours back. Or maybe when you, you know, really have this moment like, man, I really just, I feel bad for them. Maybe your spouse doesn't. They can, they can balance that out because your kids need consequences. I, I promise you 100%. If your kids have free range and no matter what they do, there's never any consequences. You're going to have spoiled, rotten brats that don't know how to live as adults. The way we effectively discipline is by being able to dial back the empathy. This is our superpower. This is our ability to 
judge how much we're giving and how much we're feeling. Please exercise that, right? Get good at it. Know when to go, right? Know when it's okay to be aggressive. When, know okay when it's gonna time to dial it back. And you're gonna get it wrong. There's gonna be times where you should have showed some empathy and you didn't, and you should have. And that's okay, right? That is totally fine. That's acceptable. But you should be evaluating. We should be improving it. The reason I call this the Earn Your Title podcast is because every day we should be trying to get just a little bit better, you know, just a little bit, one more step better. We're evaluating, we're earning it today. Some days it's by showing lots of love, lots of grace, lots of, you know, kindness and patience. And some days it's dialing the empathy back and saying, no, that was wrong. I love you too much to let you keep doing that. And I'm stopping you. And, and this is the consequences of your actions. And man, you're going to feel better. I know I've felt terrible after giving out a discipline that my kids needed, but I felt bad because I understood where they were coming from. So I highly encourage you to think about empathy. If you're, if you have zero empathy or you're very low empathy, work on it on a daily basis, but don't ever, ever, ever feel ashamed. Don't ever feel like you're being toxic when you dial it back and you do what needs to be done. You know, there's times at work where I tell people, I'm going to hurt you. This is going to hurt. And I pick them up and I move them, you know, from wherever they were at. And I'm doing that so they can get and feel better. Because if I leave them where they're, you know, where they're at, someone falls down and breaks their leg, they're stuck there. If I leave them, they're never going to get help. And the only way to pick them up is to hurt them. The only way that I could do that comfortably is to dial back my empathy. You know, I think that just it's related to life. There's sometimes we just got to get down, go to work, and it's going to hurt people. But if you're a good, kind, moral person, you're doing it for the right reasons, it is okay. It is okay. So men, be empathetic. Don't be afraid to dial it back. Remember, earn your title every day. My name is Danny Dumas, and I'll talk to you there.